everyone, I'm Jake and this is Harry and we're big boys from year 8. This week is Science Week and we're here today to show you some of our favourite experiments. We're really excited, we hope you are too. So, who loves science? Me! Who loves experiments? Me! Who is ready? Me! But first, Jake, we have to have some rules so that these experiments are fun and can work for us. Rule number one, you must stay seated at all times. Don't run and jump around. This isn't a zoo. <laughs> must be quiet, otherwise the experiments just can't happen. Should we give it a go? I don't think so. So who loves science? Me! Two, one. Good job. And finally, rule three, the most important rule, listen and have fun today. But there's one problem. Harry and the guys, we're not very clever. So you may need some volunteers to help us out throughout the morning. If you want to be picked, you're going to sit still with your hand up, and we might just pick you. And if you're lucky enough to be picked, you'll get a pair of super stylish, super cool, super important science goggles. This week's Science Week theme is growth. Jake, what does growth mean to you? An example of growth is when a tiny, tiny seed gets bigger and bigger from water and sunlight. It's a massive tree, like the ones in the car park. Yeah. What does growth mean to you then? Well, when I think of growth, I think of a balloon, starting small and with some air. Scientist. 
So who will be willing to share and explain how we made this paper disappear? That paper didn't actually disappear. It burned into really tiny pieces that you can't see with your eyes. This paper is soaked in special liquids called chemicals. Do you say chemicals? Chemicals! These chemicals make the paper burn really fast. Now, we're going to hand over to Anthony, Ben and Pierce for our next experiment. Morning, everyone. I'm Anthony. I'm Piers. And I'm Ben. Today, we are going to be <coughs> making a new material. Ben, can you give us an example of the material? Plastic. Plastic. It's really useful material found in toys, these chairs, and even these tables. Piers, can you give us another example of the material? Metal's really useful, because the table legs here, and carps are made out of metal. Metal is a really, really, really useful material because it's malleable, so it can be made into any shape or form. Now, can anyone else give me an example of the material? Yep. Sand. Sand. It's made out of really tiny pieces of rock, which is a natural material. <coughs> yeah? Um, uh, like clothes. Well, look. The jump you have on now is made out of a bit of plastic and a bit of polyester, so, yeah. How uh, about you? Uh, cardboard. Cardboard's really good material because you can make it to build loads of stuff, like little mini cars. Now, we're going to need three very helpful Year 8 volunteers who will help us with the next experiment. Now, boys, we want you to put these cups on your head and do not take them off. Now, do you think we can make this water disappear? Yes! yes. Okay. Yes. Some of you might think this is special water, but actually it's just completely normal. Three, two, one. So what I want you to do now is keep an eye on the cup with water, and then at the end we're going to tell us which one it is. And move. <laughs> and stop. Is the water in this cup? No. Is the water in this cup? Yes. Is the water in this cup? Yes. Yes, it is. It is in this cup. <laughs> Okay, we're going to now pass on to Alex and Nikhil for our next experiment. 
Down. Good morning, my name's Mikhail. And I'm Alex. And today we're going to do some patterns. But we are going to do some volunteers. In this experiment, we're going to use the space to grow some really wonderful, colourful patterns. All you've got to do is spin your arm like this. <coughs> Come on, you try. Nice. Now, these boys have something called energy. Can you say energy? Energy! Actually, you all have energy. Energy is what you use to run, to walk, to swim. Energy is just how we move. Now, as the boys spin their arms, where do you think the energy is going? Is it going to the floor? Is it going to the sky? Or to the ribbon? Ribbon! Correct. And if these boys spin the ribbons even faster, do you think there's more or less energy? More! Oh. When the when these 
smoke, <coughs> when the steam goes in here and we fire it, it will not harm you, it will not hurt you, and you'll absolutely love it. When we launch this, it will make this whole room into one massive cloud. Three, two, one. <laughs> Boys, what do we say 